The day we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Friday, January 7, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Washington Wizards vs Chicago Bulls. Demer Derrison scored 29 points, Zach Lavin added 27 and the Chicago Bulls won their 8th straight game beating the Orlando Magic 102-98 on Monday night. Nikola Vucevic had 13 points and 17 rebounds for the Bulls. Kobe White came off the bench to score 17 points. The Wizards have lost by 3-point buzzer beaters in two of their last three games. At this point, I'm not sure how much more their hearts can take. The good news is they won't leave Friday night's game against the Bulls brokenhearted. The bad news is they won't leave with a win either. This Bulls team is loaded from top to bottom. Alex Caruso is still out of the lineup, but they just got Lonzo Bolt back on the floor. So it's a team that's nearly back at full strength, while the Wizards are still waiting on Montrezl Harrell, Rui Hachimura and Thomas Bryant to return. Defense will continue to be a problem for the Wizards against a Bulls team with multiple players capable of creating their own shots. Chicago is currently the fifth-ranked team in offensive efficiency in a season, where they're averaging 47.3% shooting from the floor. It's a mismatch on paper, and it'll be an even bigger mismatch in reality. After scoring a season-high 29 points in a loss to the Chicago Bulls on New Year's Day, Kyle Kuzma set a new bar two days later in a win over the Charlotte Hornets. Kuzma posted 36 points, 14 rebounds, and 6 assists in the Wizards' 124-121 victory. He has scored in double figures in six consecutive games, his longest such streak this season, and is averaging a double-double of 23.7 points and 10.5 rebounds during that stretch. Our first betting pick is Chicago Bulls minus 6. The Bulls will continue to try to take advantage of the Wizards' perimeter defensive struggles, while also trying to limit the turnovers this time around. They got a bit careless with the ball in the first meeting, and it nearly cost them the game on multiple occasions. They can also be better defensively. The team has slipped to 13th in the league in defensive efficiency in a season, where they're also struggling to defend the perimeter. Opposing teams are averaging 35.7% shooting from beyond the arc against them. The Wizards had opportunities in the first meeting, but they failed to capitalize on those shots. Our second betting pick is over the total. Quick reminder, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Minnesota Timberwolves vs Oklahoma City Thunder. The Thunder managed to close a 21 point first half deficit, but fell short in a 98 90 loss to the Timberwolves. Shai Gilgis Alexander had 19 points in his return for Oklahoma City after missing one game in the protocols. Josh Giddy, who became the youngest player in league history with a triple double in the Thunder's last game, had 14 points, 15 rebounds, and 6 assists. The Thunder had every chance to beat the Timberwolves on Wednesday. It isn't often that D'Angelo Russell goes 3 of 12 from the floor and 0 of 5 from 3-pointer. Towns was obviously struggling to impose his will on offense as well. Oklahoma City missed the boat in that game. I'm expecting the Timberwolves stars to have a much greater offensive impact on things this time around. The Thunder have certainly come along well defensively, but they don't have the answers to completely shut down Minnesota's offense. All Russell does is score buckets, and Towns is one of the most talented big men in the game. But forward Anthony Edwards' driving and finishing abilities at the rim might be the biggest problem facing a Thunder team struggling to defend anything inside of the arc at home. Opposing teams are averaging 52.5% shooting against them. Our first betting pick is Minnesota Timberwolves minus 5. The game was there for the taking for the Thunder, but they're still struggling to get shots to fall. The team shot a pitiful 36.7% from the floor and turned the ball over 18 times. So they really aren't giving themselves a chance in these games. Granted, they have shown some fight on the defensive end of the floor. They'll clearly need more of it against a Timberwolves starting lineup that is jam-packed with offensive talent. However, that all still pales in comparison to the lack of scoring. The Thunder have to find a way to knock down shots. This nightmare of a season isn't going anywhere as long as they have the worst scoring offense in the NBA. But how is change even realistic when Shai Gilgis Alexander, Lugans Dort and Josh Giddy are their only players averaging in double scoring figures? Oklahoma City's lack of offensive production is a major disadvantage on a nightly basis. They simply can't score enough points to keep up with opponents. The team isn't even averaging 100 points per game. 
throw in the fact that Minnesota really can play defense, and this game actually has the potential of being even uglier than the first one. Towns and Russell hadn't played since December 21 before making their long-awaited return this week. Their offensive production will only improve as time goes on, and they settle back into the flow of things. Our second betting pick is over the total. Dallas Mavericks vs Houston Rockets. Houston Rockets are 29th in the NBA in points allowed at 115.5 points per game. Opponents are shooting 46.7% overall against the Rockets' defense which is 25th in the league. Houston is allowing 34.7% shooting from behind the three-point line. The Rockets are giving up 41.1 rebounds per game, while averaging only 42.9 boards per contest. Christian Wood is the glass cleaner for Houston with a team-best 10.4 rebounds per game and Wood is the leader in block shots with an average of 0.9 swats per contest. Kevin Porter Jr. averages a team-leading 1.4 steals per game. No Luka Doncic. No Kristaps Porzingis. No victory for the Mavericks. It really doesn't get much simpler than that right there. Doncic does so much for the team on his own. He leads them in every meaningful statistic, points, rebounds and assists. And Porzingis, his right-hand man, is right there behind him averaging 20-plus points and 8 rebounds. Houston is not a cakewalk team to beat on their home floor. They're playing better on offense and defense and making teams work hard for wins, even with an 11-28 record. The Rockets were already going to have their way on the boards, but it's not even a fair fight down low without Porzingis and Doncic. Our first betting pick is Houston Rockets plus 2. The Rockets have to pressure the Mavs defensively with Kristaps Porzingis and Luka Doncic likely both out for this game. It's all about making the reserve players take tough shots. Opposing teams are only averaging 44.9% shooting against the Rockets when they're at home this season. A strong defensive performance effort would probably seal this game for the Rockets. The Mavs were already coming into the game with a struggling offense, which means they were always going to have issues on the road against Houston. Now, those issues could be magnified significantly with two players averaging 20-plus points already ruled out for the Mavs. That essentially leaves Dallas without their top two stars ahead of a matchup with the Rockets team that has shown some fight in games. Granted, they're clearly sitting at 11-28 to for a reason, but they also aren't the type of team the Mavs should be taken lightly. The Rockets are frustrating teams defensively at home, and they're actually hitting their shots. They're averaging 45.8% shooting for 110.2 points per game. There's something about the Toyota Center that gets the young Rockets' blood going. This is a trap territory sort of game with so many missing parts for Dallas. The Rockets are scoring an average of 107.5 points per game which is 20th in the NBA. Houston shoots 45.1% overall and 34.5% from beyond the arc. Wood is the leading scorer with an average of 16.9 points per game while shooting 47.4%. Jalen Green is the second leading scorer with an average of 15.6 points per game with 39.9% shooting. Kevin Porter Jr. is the dish master with a team best 5.8 assists per game. Houston averages 22.9 assists, but it is very careless with the ball. The Dallas Mavericks are third in the NBA in points allowed at 103.4 per game. Opponents are shooting only 45.7% overall which is 19th in the NBA and 34.9% from behind the three-point line which is 17th. Dallas holds opponents to an average of 44.4 rebounds per game, but the Mavericks are averaging slightly less at 43.3 rebounds per contest. Luka Doncic is the king of the boards for Dallas with an average of 8.8 .8 rebounds per game. Dorian Finney-Smith is the leader in steals with an average 1.3 per contest, and with Kristaps Porzingis sidelined, the leader in blocked shots, is Maxi Kleber with an average of 0.9 swats per game. Our second betting pick is over the total. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.